Open AI CEO said that AI, AI bubble, bubble is, is forming. forming. There was a report from MIT saying that 95% of generative AI projects are failing in the companies. Anthropic CEO said that 90% of the coding will be automated by AI in next six months. So that six month timeline have already passed. Are we at the stage where 90% of coding is done by AI? Absolutely not. Think about big consulting company like TCS, which has 600,000 employees majority of them do coding. Let's say 400,000 are doing coding. If Anthropic CEO's prediction was right, then 90% of that 400,000, which is 360,000 employees, should have been laid off. How many employees did TCS laid off? Only 12,000, which is just 2%. It might be little more, maybe 3 or 4%, but it's nowhere close to 90%. Elon Musk in May 2024 said that we will reach AGI in this year, year 2025. We are in October 2025 and we are nowhere, nowhere close, close to AGI. AGI. The point I want to make is that there are multiple signs that AI is becoming a bubble. AI is a powerful technology, just like internet. But if you trace back the history of internet during 1990 and 2000, what happened is internet was booming. There were many companies whose valuations were rising. Many CEOs were making big claims about internet. But in 2000, there was a dot-com bubble which burst and many companies went bankrupt. Many promises that were being made by CEOs of these companies were proven to be wrong and eventually internet stabilized and internet is having a big impact in our life i think ai is going through that cycle so right now we are in that hype cycle where many companies are trading at a very high valuation there are many ceos making big big promises but that hype is going to reach the peak soon or maybe we are at the peak and this bubble is going to crash and then it will stabilize and it will have long lasting impact in our lives. Derek Thompson, the writer at Atlantic wrote this nice comprehensive report on why he thinks AI bubble is going to pop soon. So let me go over that report quickly. Let me go over this report, which I'm going to link below. This is how the AI bubble will pop. The first thing we need to look at is the capital expenditure by these big tech companies. In 2018, the total capital expenditure was $100 billion, actually less than $100 billion by all these companies combined, Amazon, Meta, Google, etc. Capital expenditure means how much money you are spending in your uh, capital. Cap CapEx is a general term, I hope you know that. In your R&D projects, right now AI boom is going on. So Microsoft, Meta, everybody is building their data centers. They are, they are doing some uh, research and development in AI. So all that expenditure which is going into AI is a AI capex okay now think about the capital expenditure in 2026 it is more than 400 billion dollar folks this is crazy you are you are literally burning humongous amount of money with a hope that this technology will produce that much revenue and profit okay so just think about this total 500 billion dollar is going to be spent okay in this this uh, time frame in US alone and how much is the revenue being generated through AI services? Only $12 billion, folks. There is no comparison to the scale. Imagine you are having a shop, okay, in a city. You are having an electronic store or let's say some company. And you are spending $500,000 every year. But how much revenue you are getting? Only $12,000. $500,000 versus $12,000 huge gap okay you can live on that for a few years let's say on the investors money but you need to catch up you need to make sure your revenue goes beyond your spending then only as a business you make profit but is that really going to happen there is less likelihood of that happening versus you know the other case so that is the reason Derek Thompson is saying that AI is most likely in a bubble. The other example is Mira Murthy, OpenAI executive. She uh, created this company, okay, Thinking Machines Lab. Their valuation is $10 billion. And what is their product? No one knows. Do they have any customers? No, zero. Zero customers, only talks, okay, only talks. And why it is $10 billion? Because Mira Murthy worked at OpenAI and she will create something amazing. Okay, I mean, I we wish her a best luck. She will do it. But $10 billion valuation, folks, that's nuts. Okay, so folks, you can go over the entire article. Like there is a lot of statistics and data. 
but i will just summarize uh, as i mentioned about that internet bubble right dot com bubble was bursted in 2000 and before 2000 what was happening is all these companies right various internet companies were coming in the market they were making big claims and then uh, there was this bubble okay there was this peak of expectation and then bubble crashed many companies went actually bankrupt and then internet stabilized see internet is a powerful technology it is having a huge impact in our life okay so it it become mature and now the impact is companies like amazon google they survived right but other companies they went bankrupt so similarly we are in 2025 and same thing is happening with this ai okay let's say there was a chat gpt release and from that this boom started and now all this company like thinking lab this lab that lab they are you know their valuations are going up but at some point investors will be frustrated and the, the this company stocks are going to crash actually and there will be a burst and then the technology will eventually stabilize so folks the key takeaway is that whatever you are hearing from ceos and internet etc majority of that could be a hype okay and there will be some truth we need to learn how to suck that truth or reality out of that hype and then prepare our career accordingly if you are learning programming if you are learning any technology and if you have this view that okay ai is going to automate everything and i should not learn that thing then what else will you learn if ai can automate coding ai can automate anything right there will be AI robots they will be able to do farming they will be able to do the job of doctors then what will you do you have to be optimistic and realize that whatever you are hearing from news channels etc many of those things are actually hype okay the reality is very different ai is powerful but it's not as powerful that it will replace every single job on this earth Therefore, you should prepare for your career with optimism. Programming jobs will remain. Technology jobs will remain. You need to upgrade yourself and use these AI tools to boost your productivity. You can have two kinds of perspective. One, okay, AI is going to take technology jobs. Therefore, I should not prepare for it. I should prepare for some other career. But then that other career will also be taken over by AI. So should you sit idle and do nothing? No, right? That's very pessimist view and those people will probably suffer the most. There is second category of people who are optimist, who thinks AI is actually an opportunity. How can I use AI to boost my productivity? How can I learn other skills like soft skills or timeless skills which uh, cannot be replaced by AI and then use AI to automate some of my technology work and gain the boost in my career which option you choose out of these two is your choice all right thank you very much for watching if you have any questions there is a comment box below